Hello there, it's Andy Parks from the Washington Times. Great to have you along once again. And here we go again. Another week of nonsense in the news. But first, as a listener to my podcast, you qualify to receive a 50% discount on an annual digital subscription to the Washington Times. Simply go to WashingtonTimes.com slash Andy. That's WashingtonTimes.com slash A-N-D-Y. All right, let's see. Where do we start this week? Mm. Oh, have you seen the border Haitian camp in Del Rio, Texas? The number of immigrants living under that highway overpass had risen to 16,000 in a matter of a few days. And then, of course, DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas said, that's okay, it's under control. Really? Like the rest of the southern border? These people are crazy. Oh, no, not the people under the bridge, the people running our government. (laughs) Mallorca says, hey, we're sending back three plane loads a day. And this will show you that you just can't show up here illegally. What? What? Earth to Alejandro Mallorca, these people came here because they saw how easy it was under the Biden border policy to just strut right on in here. Now, come on. Now you're somehow trying to save face? You ought to be thrown out of office today. And you know, the people of Texas, God bless them, they're they're reaching their wit's end. One woman said she woke up to find 23 illegal immigrants on her property. But in D.C., nothing to see here. Just move along. I've got an idea. Let's send 23 illegals to every elected Democrat's home. Let's give them a taste of their own medicine. It would never happen, of course. But how much longer can we really expect this to go on? Until we've lost the America most right-thinking Americans know and love? Look at what we've become. We have a president that's an absolutely unqualified fool. Period. He's an idiot. I don't know if you caught the little gathering in the Oval Office where Boris Johnson and Joe Biden were going to take questions from the press... Well, actually, as it turns out, the White House aides shouted down the reporters when it came time to ask Biden a question, whereas Boris answered three questions before they finally cut him off. What is going on? Then we've got a vice president who is in charge of the southern border mess, but is nowhere to be found. COVID-19. Hey, that was supposed to be over by now, according to Joe Biden. Oops, guess he was wrong. But along that COVID front, you only have to worry about it if you don't support Democrats, I guess. Because once again, made obvious by London Breed, liberal mayor of San Francisco, partying big time with the co-founder of Black Lives Matter and a bunch of supporters, pictures are making their way across America of a maskless mayor at a San Francisco nightclub. And of course, let's not forget a maskless AOC partying with rich people at a $35,000 a ticket gala. Oh, and that the liberal lefties at the Emmy Awards a couple of days ago didn't have masks, nor did they practice social distancing. I did have to laugh this week when a few scientists said the CDC just picked a number like six feet for social distancing. Yeah, pulled it right out of midair. No science involved. And here's something you may not be aware of. I found out this week when a member of our extended family passed away in a nursing home. He had been suffering with a variety of illnesses in the past and was in his 80s. The folks at the nursing home said they were attributing the death to COVID-19. Now, one of his daughters refused to accept that and demanded they list the real cause of death and not COVID-19. Then, the bombshell. The administrator said that if the cause of death was listed as COVID-19, FEMA would pay funeral costs up to $9,000. They did allow it, and actually the family received $8,000 for expenses. I said, this cannot be true, can it? Yep, sure is. Check it out online, folks. They'll pay up to $9,000 per individual, but there is a family limit of $36,000. Unbelievable. The America in which we live. Yeah, we're all racist now. The American flag is a symbol of racism. We must have two national anthems. 
School teachers are doing their own thing and refusing in some cases to allow students to recite the pledge. If something offends someone, well, it's got to be changed. What happened to majority rules? Career thugs like George Floyd were elevated to deity status, and we sat back and we watched. Antifa and BLM crowds literally ripped cities apart around America, doing billions of dollars in damages. Some liberal mayors and city councils voted to defund the police. A total failure that a 10-year-old could have seen. And now mayors like Lori Lightfoot in Chicago, they're crying because crime is so high. She said they need to refund the police department. Oh, what a genius. Oh yeah, and the America First image can't be tolerated any longer. We've deliberately weakened ourselves to the point where we're no longer respected by many countries around the world, and rightly so. And you know what's so funny? The left was worried about Trump. And does anyone really know who is running the USA right now? Whoever it is, they're winning their fight to destroy it. And then, of course, there was that simpleton move of withdrawing from Afghanistan, pack up, move out, leave an army of military equipment, get a few of our service people killed along the way, not to mention some Americans and allies are still being held by the Taliban. The liberal left cannot run a thing. I take that back. They can run the country into the ground. Hopefully by now, many are realizing this can never happen again. You know, washed up, unfunny comedian Sarah Silverman? Yeah, she said something the other day that caught my ear. She said, maybe it's time to divide America into two countries, USA 1 and USA 2. One side for conservatives, and she even said the right can have the USA 1 and the other side for liberals. In other words, you go your way, I'll go mine. Now, if a conservative would have proposed this, they'd be putting the fences up again around the White House and the Capitol, claiming the insurrection's coming again. (laughs) But actually, I consider the whole thing sort of funny in a twisted way. Is there anyone who thinks the left could get along without the right's money? Never happened. The hardworking people in this country, the pro-America crowd, doesn't live on the East or West Coast, the places where the left sends a disproportional amount of tax dollars. The real money comes from mainstream America, the Republicans. Good luck, Sarah. I'm pulling for you. Thanks for joining me today, and remember to receive a 50% discount on an annual digital subscription to the Washington Times. Go to WashingtonTimes.com slash Andy. You'll get 24-7 digital access to the Washington Times at 50% off. Again, go to WashingtonTimes.com slash A-N-D-Y. I'm Andy Parks. Have a great day.